up, guys? I'm in the shop today, and I'm going to be making some drowning rods. Stay with me. So this is what we got. I got a few pieces of rebar. I got some hags drowner locks, and I got some scrap metal. Let's we'll see if we can't turn this into something functional. Get a few more of these cut and we'll move on to the next step. Now that we've got all our components made, let's get these things assembled. First thing we're going to need to do is cut a notch in one end of our rebar. That way we can weld these ends on. Next thing we'll need to do, add our drowner locks before we put these stops on there. Now these stops get welded uh, maybe 6 to 12 inches up from the other end. That just keeps the critter from being able to slide right off the end of the rod should it get loose. All right. Let's get these notches done and I'll show you what we got. And there you go. We've got our notches done. That's what this one looks like, so we can weld our end on. That way we can stake it down. There's our other notch. That way we can put our stop on there. All we need to do now is get these things welded up. Just remember, before you weld both pieces on, you have to put your drowner lock on. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it on there. All right. Now, when you go to install your drowner lock, keep in mind, it needs to slide away from the end that you're going to stake. Okay? As always, guys, always wear the appropriate safety gear for the task at hand, okay? Take care of your bodies. And there we go. Got our ends on there where we can stake it down. All of our drowner locks are on there, headed in the right direction. And all of our stops are welded on. These are more or less just heavy tacks, guys. Just got to stop that drowner lock from sliding off the end. It gives you a little something else to bite down into the mud. You set these things out. All right. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. And stay tuned. I've got more to come.